good day again everybody all school bus drivers and all those who want to be school bus drivers I want to cover today a particular section of the bus on your pre-trip inspection which is the hydraulic brake system some buses have this some buses have dual air brake system on this particular bus we have a hydraulic brake system and I'm gonna test the system for leaks there is a way to do it the lazy way and there's a, the correct way. The lazy way is as follows. So the lazy way, I'm gonna get in my bus, my hands on my steering wheel, I pump the pedal, one, two, three. Uh-oh, nothing happened, the pedal did not go down. Uh-oh, there's nothing going on, I think my brakes are good. That is the lazy way. The proper way to do a hydraulic brake test for leaks is as follows. We're going to test for leaks and then we're going to test the brakes and we're also going to test for adjustment and we're going to test a parking brake. So please take notes. Any comments are welcome. Here we are. So you come into your bus. First thing you do is you put your seat belt on. You grab your keys, you turn your headlights on, and you pump down the system as follows. You find your service brake pedal, you make sure that your park brake is applied, you apply the service brake pedal once, all the way down, hold it, release. Twice, press it all the way down, hold it, release. Third time, apply it, all the way down, hold it for five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Now, I'm gonna turn on the bus completely, engine. And what I'm looking for is for the pedal to kick back at me. If the pedal kicks back at me, then the system, hydraulic brake system, has created pressure. There's no leaks in the hydraulic brake system. So that's what I'm checking for. Please check this out. If you notice, if you, if you were able to notice in the video, it kicked back at me. So there is pressure in the hydraulic brake system. There is no leaks. That's how you test for leaks. Now, I'm going to test the brakes. So I'm going forward. Okay. I'm going to release the parking brake. You don't have to go so fast. So I'm going forward. Gently apply the service brakes. The bus stops. My brakes are good. At the same time, I was checking for any pull on my steering wheel, either to the right or to the left. There was no pull. If you find pull or you feel pull when you're going forward, here we go again. The brakes are good. There was no pull. If there's pull that way or if, there, if there's pull this way, that may indicate that your front axle brakes are going out of adjustment. Last test. I am going to apply the park brake all the way down. The park brake lights on. I left the bus in gear. I'm slowly going to release the service brake pedal. And what I'm looking for is that the bus does not roll forward, that the park brake holds the bus where it's at. Slowly release the service brake pedal, slowly, and the bus should not roll at all. Okay, I release the service brake pedal. The bus is not rolling forward. My part brake test is good. So again, my friends, this is per the CDL requirements. 